What's up YouTube? It's Friday. At least that's the day I'm recording this and I got part two of that hunter villager modeling video we started last week. Hopefully you guys were able to follow along without any problems. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below. Start there and when you're done, come back here. But if you don't have the time to watch the full video and still want to support my stuff, I'll leave a link to the CG Trader model. It's a fully rigged model that also comes with the hand painted textures I made. So if you want to show some love but don't have the time to watch, that's a great alternative. But like I always say, if you got some time, follow along here and let's learn something new. So now that we have the base, let's uh, start by creating a, let's create a plane. There we go. And then let's, you know, let's rotate that actually 90 degrees on the x-axis. Perfect. 90 degrees on the x-axis and bring it front here. Let's control. Let's control click this input and bring in bring down the subdivision widths to one. And so that way we're starting with a truly flat plane. Now from here, I'm gonna probably position this maybe. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's do this way. And as as always, I'm kind of just making this up as I go along. There's not really like a blueprint. I might have some concept art I might refer to or look at that I drew up before, but Honestly, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, so forgive me if uh, it's not exactly, okay, do exactly this, do exactly this. Like, you'll see a lot of problem solving along the way, and honestly, when you're doing your modeling, you'll probably have the same experience. Like, you'll probably just find yourself problem solving as you go. But anyway, here we go. So I started by making a edge loop right down the center so that I always know where my center, kind of my center of symmetry is. That's always helpful. And now let's start molding this plane around our character. So let's go into Edge, maybe go Control E to extrude, and then Q to deselect and confirm the extrusion. We'll go like this, maybe like that. Very cool. And then, you know, let's maybe scale it down a tiny bit. Let's scale this like that, because I know I'm going to want to make this kind of like a, almost like a vest type of thing. So let's go here. And something you should know that I'm gonna take a lot of advantage of, at least for clothing, is the smooth feature. So you see that you see the smooth feature kind of happening right now on the base model in the head. But smooth feature really helps when it comes to clothing as well, unless you're going for that low poly kind of look. Uh, it really depends, comes down to what style you're trying to create. But anyway, let's let's select these bottom uh, edges and make sure your object symmetry X is on so that you don't have to duplicate your work. Control E to, to extrude. Where's my extrusion? Nope. Control E to extrude, pull it out here. Q to enable. And then we'll go W to position. And let's position that down a tiny bit. Maybe back like this. And uh, let's do this. Yeah, okay, cool. That's looking all right. Yeah, I kind of like that. Sure. And maybe we'll scale it up a tiny bit. And then click here, edge. Go edge, right click, edge, edge ring. Let's scale this in to represent the waist. Yeah, okay, sweet. Now we'll go back to edge. We'll select this one and we'll go control E to extrude. Uh, pull this up and we'll basically kind of make the, the flaps that will go around our character model. Uh, and basically what I end up doing at this point is just kind of molding molding the plane around our character to make be a really rough shape of a shirt or a vest and then going from there in terms of smoothing it out adding some details but i always start by making like a rough shape and then adding detail incrementally as you go and that's typically a good practice when it comes to most modeling stuff or even just anything you're doing when it comes to creative stuff like start with a rough kind of rough idea so that you don't spend too much time like finessing it and making it perfect and only to find out that oh like you need to change something or it's not exactly working exactly how you want you know so just try and be a little more efficient that way here we go nice okay let's continue the extrusion and you see how the you now you see how this object symmetry feature really comes in handy here i feel like i say that every video but <laughs> Honestly, it, it really is super helpful, and it'll 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 really save you. It'll really save you at times. 
Anyway, yeah, so just molding this around. Obviously, I'll position this later on. I just want to make sure I get an initial, um, an initial kind of vest going, you know? Let's do, you know what? Actually, let's go edge, and then let's go edge ring split. Let's do the same thing here, edge ring split. Select these two, space, mesh tools, <coughs> slide edge. Let's slide it up here because I want to pull that out like this so that it kind of forms more naturally around our character's body. And at this point, I think what you can do is go edge, select these, and then go bridge. And that way it's connected and it kind of closes off your shirt. But let's keep going. So we'll keep going down. We'll maybe do, let's keep track of how many edge loops we have here. So we got we got one here, so let's add one here. Let's go edge, uh, let's go right, alt click, alt right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. Okay, so this edge ring will connect with, yeah, we'll probably wire. This edge ring will connect to this edge ring. This edge ring, nope. This edge ring will connect to this edge ring. You see? And so let's just make one more extrusion going down. Okay, let's do this. Control E to extrude, pull it out. Q to enable, W to position. Let's do this. Perfect, here we go. Amazing, okay. So now we got the clothing kind of going around him. Let's add one edge ring split down the center and kind of pull that out so that it morphs a bit more naturally. Then what we'll actually do is we'll start kind of forming the vest a little bit more naturally around our character here. Rotate this. Okay, awesome. Okay, great, 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 great. I'm liking how that's looking so far. Let's uh, go edge and then let's start bridging things together. So let's bridge these two. Let's bridge these two. So this is why it was important to keep track of which edge loops will line up with which one because now it's easier to bridge two separate edges you see how I, and you see how i closed the shirt that way right obviously it doesn't look too nice right now but we will clean that up so speaking of let's go edge let's add an edge loop here let's pull this out and maybe orient it like that like this and let's do the same for this one oh see okay here's a mistake i want y'all to kind of avoid you see how i did that here but it didn't copy here it's because I didn't have an edge loop, a second edge loop associated with this side. So now I could just do it again here, but to save myself time and to make sure our symmetry is perfect, let's redo it. So we'll go, let's create edge loop here. Let's create edge loop here. Okay, now we got two edge loops. Let's select one and make sure they're both selected. Wire. Okay, perfect. Oh, they're gonna... I think I have a duplicate head in his body. Oh my. All right, let's get rid of that in a second. Mm, let's go object. There we go. And delete that. Yeah, we don't need that. Anyway, let's go smooth shading. Back to the clothing. Okay, so now go edge. Let's rotate this. Let's rotate this this way. Maybe pull it out here. Then let's rotate this way and maybe pull this out a tiny bit as well okay wonderful amazing awesome okay looking good so far we're in good shape we're in good shape so we'll continue doing we'll continue molding the clothing around our character so that kind of contours to the body how you might expect clothing to work um, maybe yeah and this is the part may i might like I might like time lapse this a little bit because this is just this is just the part where you kind of finesse around and kind of mess around and see what works in terms of how you want the clothing to mold. Obviously, when you're doing your character, it's not going to look exactly like this. Like, never expect you should never expect that your stuff will it'll come exactly the same. You know what I mean? You bring your own, you always bring your own type of character and your own kind of style and approach to things, and that's something you should be proud of. You know, you should never really try to aim to copy people. Or at least when you're learning, it's fine. But eventually, you want to kind of have your own uh, say, you know? And I think all of y'all are, I'm sure, 
extremely creative, probably far more creative than I am. So I'm happy to see what you guys can do with uh, these kind of tips. I honestly just hope they're helpful at the end of the day. Edge, let's go, let's select this one and then, yeah, okay, sweet, amazing, amazing, yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about when I'm saying the smoothing feature is gonna come really handy. So right now you have your, you're in your geometric view. If you go, if you press three, and I'm sorry for the creaking on my chair, if you press three, it smooths everything out to make it more of like a natural clothing shape. And that comes off a lot more nicely. And so you can actually continue working on your geometric um, model while you have the smoothing feature on. And that way, uh, you can kind of you can get a good approximation of how it's going to look when you actually expand the uh, smoothing. So right now, let's add a collar. Let's pull this up. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I like that. Let's add a little collar here. Maybe pull this up. Pull this back. Maybe rotate it up like this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. 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 That's looking all right. Nice. Nice. Pull that in. Give him a nice little uh, fancy little vest collar here. He's looking kind of cool. Very spiffy. I like it. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay. So we got that going right now. Uh, how should we... What else should we add? You know, his collar is a little too classy for him to just kind of be sleeveless. So let's see if we can add, give him some... See if we can give this guy a couple some sleeves. I'm going to scale this up a little bit and then position this down. Let me pull it out and then rotate so that it falls more in line with the elbow, with the shoulder. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got a good shape going on here now. Okay, so from here, I'll continue to do the extrusion and I'll pull this out. Wow, these are, this guy's gonna be a bard at the end of the day or something. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this and then let's scale this because this looks ridiculous. This looks a little wild for me. Yeah, okay, cool. And then let's bring this in to even out the sleeves and then pull this up here. Awesome. Uh, okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go. All right, sweet. We got some sleeves going on here. So obviously this looks a little weird. So what we'll do instead, object mode, select this edge, select this edge. Let's go and add a edge ring right around the area where I'm pretty sure his, let's go shading, where his elbow is gonna be. Yeah, perfect, there's his elbow. So let's do, ah, uh, you know what I could have done? Eh, it's okay, I'm already here. Mesh tools, let's go slide edge, and then middle mouse button, slide it down to about this area, and maybe let's rotate it a tiny bit so that's a little bit in line. Mesh, okay, great. Oh no, I wonder why that didn't select. Sorry. Now I have to redo this because there we go. My mirror, my mirror, uh, my symmetry didn't select both edges. And I want to make sure I'm trying to keep as much symmetry as I can when I'm doing this. So let's do it again. Let's go space, mesh tool, edge slide, edge slide. Let's bring that down. I believe it was just like about here. Yeah, that probably looks about right. And now let's actually bring this out to kind of finish off the sleeve and scale it down kind of like a tapered sleeve type of look. Amazing. Let's do this like this and kind of bring this back. And I think what we can do is scale this down a little bit. Awesome. And how about here we add our another edge ring. Another edge ring. Yes, wonderful, amazing. Okay, cool. So this is to show kind of the crease in the shoulder shoulder area Ooh. let's redo edge ring and then select to make sure my symmetry is selecting everything edge. there we go okay now let's scale this down to make sure it looks like I got a little bit of overlapping um, polys which is not something I usually want so let's kind of bring this up a bit just so that they don't they're not overlapping too much, you know? Okay, great, awesome. He's looking pretty cool. He's looking all right. He's looking not too shabby, I might say. He's not looking too bad right now. Uh, but I do think we can't have this guy walking around with uh, no pants. 
So let's see, how am I gonna do the pants? It would probably be best if we do, hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think about how I would do this right now. Oh, I got an idea. Okay. So this is what we'll do. We'll go space. Uh, we'll create. We'll, let's do another plane. Uh, let's rotate this plane on, I believe, the Y axis, 90 degrees. Nope, I believe X axis. Yeah, X axis by 90 degrees. And then let's uh, position. Let's bring up this plane a little bit here and then change the inputs so that it is. Sorry, I changed the inputs by um, control clicking or alt clicking. Or no, sorry, control clicking. And then bringing down the subdivisions. And okay, let's go. Let's keep going. So now that we have a flat plane, I'll go edge ring utilities, edge ring split so that I know where my symmetry is. And then let's scale the entire thing down a smidge. And uh, let's position this, position this like right around here, right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to scale it up a little bit more because I wanna make sure I cover the groin area. Yeah, okay. And then this, okay, I got an idea. I know how I'm gonna do this. So we'll add another edge ring split, another edge ring split here and select this, go mesh tools, edge slide. Position is here, and so let's remember where we're keeping this uh, this edge edge loop here because these two edges here are going to come in handy later. So we'll do this, position it, maybe pull this back, maybe pull this up a tiny bit. I mean, you know, we could probably we probably wouldn't lose anything by going like that. We stand to lose much. Okay, now let's do what we did earlier and go Control E and extrude around the body and just kind of basically make this weird belt type of thing for our character right now. Maybe rotate this so that it's in line with how the hips are standing. Um, if you ever wonder why characters are always in this what we call a T position, um, it's because it makes it life easier for the rigger in the future. Like it's easy to tell where the shoulder is, where the elbow is, where the wrist is. And so when they're creating the bones, um, they know what to associate and they know how to weight paint it properly. Uh, yeah, just a tidbit of information for you. Anyway, we'll keep going. Uh, I won't lie, actually, as I'm making this character, I can't help but stop thinking about uh, American Gods. I'm not sure if you guys have watched that show recently, but oh, I just finished it on Amazon. It's really good. And so I'm hoping I can maybe take some inspiration from one of the characters there and uh, give him some of that influence because I really, he's one of my favorite characters. And so. I would highly recommend the show if you got some spare time, or even if you're just kind of making your own models. I like to watch, I like to watch stuff while I do this, and so. Oops. Okay, let's make sure. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. I was worried for a second that I actually didn't create the proper extrusion, but anyway. Let's pull this out. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. What was I saying? I like to uh, watch shows while I do some simple modeling when I'm not recording anything. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend that if you wanted to kind of have something running in the background. It's actually not exactly the kind of show you'd want to run in the background because you do need to pay attention, but I, I, I recommend it. So check it out. Anyway, keep going. Extrude uh, W to position. Do this. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. We're coming towards the end here. So I think we can bring this close enough, maybe rotate it a tiny bit so they're a little more aligned. Maybe line it up like this a bit more. Go back to our modeling toolkit and we'll bridge it. Okay, great. So now we got a little bit of a skirt here. Okay, so this is where things get a little tricky. Uh, let's add an edge ring here. And then let's use these ones and actually pull them in slightly so that they look like they're lining up with these two right here. I want to make sure that these, this edge and this edge basically lines up. Um, so I'll add an edge ring here just to kind of basically form it out a little bit more so that's not so rough shaping. And if I plan this out properly, let's go bridge. 
awesome okay there we go so that doesn't look that, okay granted that doesn't look great right now but you'll see in a second why i did that and it'll all make sense edge let's bring this up let's bring this in there we go okay now this, we gave him a diaper amazing amazing he's got a nice little diaper going on that's really cool okay so we got a nice little diaper for our our, our guy here um i'm gonna rotate i'm gonna fix this up a little bit actually it was actually looking too much like a skirt this is more diapery there we go perfect okay here we go great so now that we got a nice little diaper for our character let's uh go edge Let's select these edges. You know what, let's uh, actually, I'm gonna add an edge. Nope, that's not what I want. I'm gonna select this, and then let's add an edge here. And let's just split the edge. Okay, now let's select these. Uh, let's go into wire mode, just to make sure that we have everything properly selected. Let's go shading back to smooth shade. And then we will control E to extrude. Extrude out some pants. Q to, to confirm. And let's just pull this out here. Give them some nice, oh, he's looking kind of cool actually. Like I kind of like that. It looks very kind of medieval-ish to me. Kind of like medieval Japan, if that makes any sense. Anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. So we got some nice pants going on for our guy. Uh, let's squish this in, let's squish this in, squish this in. So obviously we'll tweak this out a little to, so that it doesn't look so awkward. But nice, yeah, we got some we got some good pants going here. Okay, I like it, I'm digging it. Uh, we also have to add the, we'll, we'll have to add the knees in a second. And frankly, if I look at the wire, it actually doesn't perfectly follow not perfectly follow, but it doesn't. Something looks off, looked off to me, with how the center of mass of the character was. There we go. That looks a bit better. Usually your legs fall back. Like you, you should always kind of keep track of how your center of mass is working in terms of, like your body sometimes stands in an S shape, or sometimes like an in an S shape, and uh, yeah, keeping track of center of mass really helps for. Uh, making your characters look a little more natural, even if you're just doing a T-pose. Anyway, we'll keep going. Um, let's select this, go edge, select this. Yeah, bring this out a tiny bit. And then you know what we can actually do now? Uh, we could probably use the target weld tool and go vertex to weld these edges together. Yeah, weld these edges together so that it's kind of like a closed pant. A closed pants system we got going. Okay, amazing. Okay, great, great, great. I'm liking it. This is working so far, working well. Uh, vertex, Q to select. There we go. Position. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Vertex. Let's pull this in a line, a tiny bit. Let's pull this one in a tiny bit. Uh, okay, great. Do you guys ever work in other uh, other modeling tools? Because sometimes I always get, con not confused, but sometimes I forget shortcuts. Like I'll use one shortcut that's that was for like, for example, like ZBrush or something, or like another shortcut for Blender or whatever. And then I'll get confused when it doesn't do what I want or pulls up a different tool. And then I'm like, oh God, I'm not working in that tool. I forgot. Anyway. Okay, great. So we got a nice little low poly pant here. Let's turn on three. Uh, to see what our smooth shading looks like. Okay, great. So that, he's kind of low riding here, which isn't exactly what I want, but from now we'll actually continue working off smooth shading feature. And we'll pull this up to kind of pull up your pants, sir. And uh, pull this out. And then we'll actually rotate this in a tiny bit. And then you know what we need to do is we need to go edge, and then let's add a edge loop right here. Let's add an edge loop right here, and let's add another one right here. Yeah, great. Okay, amazing. Uh, shading, wire shading. I think we can actually reselect this because those edge loops helped a little bit in terms of 
bringing up our character's pants a bit. There we go, nice. So now we just have to kind of position these knee edge loops a little more strategically. Ooh, okay. I accidentally selected this. Well, it's not what I wanted, but didn't cause too much of a trouble. I'll do this, maybe bring this in. Yeah, bring that in a little bit. Yeah, okay, great, 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 great. Okay, nice, so we got some nice little pants kind of going on here. Let's go edge, it's like this, bring it out. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got some nice little, uh, we, got, we got our guy with some little pants. I'm digging it, okay, sweet. Let's uh, bring this down a little bit. Bring it in, bring it in. Okay, awesome. And you know, I think I need to ex expand this shirt down a tiny bit. So let's, uh, you know what, let's just do an edge. Let's do an extrusion. Okay, Q to enable, W to bring it down. It's got like a nightgown kind of thing. We're going for like a medieval look, right? So that's kind of what we're going for here. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so now we got like a basic shirt and pant combo. Uh, you probably want to start adding like your own kind of details. Maybe we'll make, let's see, what, what else could this character use? Maybe a couple belts would look would look cool. Yeah, maybe a couple belts, maybe an over vest. We'll do, maybe we'll do an over vest as well. And actually an easy way we could do that, I guess we could model as well, but we can kind of cheat because we have this shape here. So let's take this shirt, continue, let's paste it and make a duplicate. And uh, let's position this. Let's uh, position this right over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him kind of like a leather vest type of thing. But in order to do that, we need to First, make it a vest. So instead of recreating, like remaking the, re, uh, recreating the wheel, let's take the assets we already have and, uh, yeah, let's take the assets we already have and just modify it so that we can, uh, it works for our purpose. There we go, delete that. Okay, so we're back to our vest mode. Let's go edge. And again, I'm still working in my smooth preview feature. Okay, great. And then we'll go here, edge ring, two edge ring and split. Let's do another one right here. And then let's select both of these and rotate it like that. Maybe bring it in a smidge. And bring this in a smidge. The reason, and you'll see why I'm doing this, is because what I want to do is go face. Let's select this, this, and this. Let's get rid of it. Awesome. Awesome, that looks good, okay. And then now, we kind of have an open vest here, which we can use to overlay on top of our main guy. And actually, because our guy has like a nice little collar here going already, maybe we shouldn't uh, give him like a duplicate collar. So we'll go edge here. It's like this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And we'll pull that out a bit, and maybe drop it down, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I dig it. Sure. That looks nice. And then what we'll do is actually we'll scale it up a tiny bit because it's going to overlay this clothing. Edge. Edge. It's like this. And uh, let's go scale. No, not scale that way. I want to scale it this way. Yeah, okay, great. Object, now let's select face. It's like all the faces, and let's see if we can do this. We'll go Control E to extrude, and instead of pulling out, we'll go the thickness here and go 0 0.00, let's try 0 0.005. That's okay. Let's do 0 0.05 instead. It's a bit better. That's point zero point one. No, that's too much of a puffer vest. Let's go zero point one. Okay, there we go. I can, I can, I can live with that. 
Okay, there we go. So what we did there was we took the faces of the model and then extruded it out to add thickness to the original shape. And now we got this kind of like thicker looking, not so much of a cloth fabric vest, which gives it like that leathery feel. Now in order, now what you might want to do is we can go back to here. And so our poly looks obviously kind of odd, a little bit weird. So uh, we can do a couple tricks. We'll go edge, it's like this edge, and we'll go control, I think, I believe it was mesh tools, no, edit mesh, bevel, here we go, bevel. And you see how it beveled, they added an extra edge loop. Let's decrease the fraction to maybe 1.3 and then make the segments two so that, yeah, it splits like that. So now we basically added two faces right here and right here where there was a single edge before. So let's see how that looks. Okay, there we go. So now we have a bit of a harsher, harder edge here, which looks more nice than like the smoother finish. And so I'll just go around and start adding that detail to the other clothing and uh, you'll see kind of how it ends up looking. So let's do that here as well. Let's go edit mesh, bevel. Let's go down to 0.3 and a segment of two. Q to enable object. Always going back to your original shape. Always going back to your thing to make sure it's looking how you want. I think what I need to do is actually add a bevel here. Yeah, let's add a bevel right here. I feel like that would be helpful. Space, edit mesh, bevel, bring it down. Ah, you know what? 0.5 is actually okay in this case. Object, there we go, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's looking all right so far. Uh, and then you know what? It, we could probably, it would probably be helpful if I added a nice little edge, bevel edge here. Yeah, okay, let's add a bevel right there. Um, let's bring down the fraction to 0.3. Basically the fraction determines how far the bevel are between each other. So the farther apart, so if you have this wide fraction and no segments, it's gonna be a smoother edge. But if you have a really smaller fraction and maybe one segment between, it'll have a very harsh edge, kind of like this. There you go, see? Nice, okay. That's looking not bad. That's looking pretty good so far. Yeah, I like it. Uh, we probably don't need to do this inside portion. So to save on polygons, I will avoid that for now. But I think we should, we would benefit from having this here. So let's go face. And actually what I wanna do first is maybe Drag this out a tiny bit. Yeah, drag this out a tiny bit. Okay, let's go vertex. Honestly, this vertex is kind of bothering me a little bit. I'm a little confused on where this thing is and where, what face it relates to. It's not exactly how I want it. It's looking okay so far. Okay, let's just add one edge. Let's add one bevel around here. Let's connect it with this and this. So shading, wire to double check. Okay, shading, smooth shade. Okay, now let's go space, edit mesh, bevel. Um, and let's bring down the fraction again. Maybe two and one. And uh, let's see how it smooths. Nice, okay. Okay, great. Great, we got a nice little vest going on here. Okay, amazing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, uh, let's position that back on our character and see how it looks. Nice, okay, I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it, I see it. Yeah, okay, it's looking not too, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, good, good job, everybody. Okay, I think we got a little bit of a weird, weird thing going here. So what I'll do is pull this back out. It's back out. 
let's select some of these faces and um, you know like maybe tweak like how wide the vest gap is so that it's not intersecting too harsh harshly with some other with the shirt we have underneath so there we go that's looking better object okay let's position that back okay here we go yeah it's looking pretty good yeah i can dig it i might i might actually select the vertices here and lift that a tiny bit so let's go back let's go into shading wire go into vertex mode let's just select all of these and pull this up so it's a bit of a higher vest kind of look and then we'll go back to smooth shading and uh, position it there. Okay, awesome. We got a nice vest going for our little guy. Maya, we'll go front view. Position that nicely. Okay, great. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We got a nice, we got a little vest for our guy. I like it. It's looking pretty good so far. It's looking pretty good. Uh, what else could we use? Um, you know, we could probably use, we could probably stand to have a belt around here now yeah let's uh let's give this guy a little bit of a belt you know never hurts never hurt nobody so uh let's go uh, space create poly primitives let's go make a plane pull the plane out a tiny bit and go channel box editor let's translate it rotate it on the x by 90 degrees enter and then let's change the input so that it's again a flat plane Okay, great. Now let's scale it down so it's like a belt shape. Pull that up a tiny bit. There you go here. Pull this in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that for the belt. Let's start here. Okay, edge. Now we'll frame, again, we're just doing the same thing like we've been doing this whole time. Extruding and then positioning the new edge along around our character until we get like the shape we like um, see like i said like i said earlier it's a lot of problem solving right it's just uh having a vision of what you want to make or having an idea at least having an idea of what you want to make and then uh, just kind of figuring it out as you go along you know what i mean just trying things out and seeing and not being afraid to kind of get kind of screw up or make mistakes uh, yeah continue this belt shape here and we'll continue going back and then we'll go control e extrude again and then we'll go back and we'll go in and we'll go extrude we'll go back we'll go in and then probably at this point we're probably good to um what do you call it Honestly, to be honest with you, now that I think about it, there's probably a bunch of other ways I could have made this belt. Like, for example, creating a cylindrical poly and then deleting the inside, the center. But, I mean, whatever floats your boat, right? Okay, amazing, great. So we got a nice little belt going on here. Let's go into object mode. Select the belt, and maybe let's scale it in a tiny bit. Maybe scale it up so it's a bit bigger, and then maybe rotate it a tad okay sweet 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 yeah sweet and then let's how it looks when it's smoothed okay yeah okay uh, let's go back to one you know what and then we'll do the same thing go face select all the faces Q control E thickness and I think a thickness of point one is probably yeah, you know what probably 0 0.05 is probably good there we go great 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 and then we'll do the same thing we'll go edge select here space edge mesh bevel maybe just add a segment do the same thing for this one space edge mesh bevel add a segment and uh yeah let's see how it looks Okay, great. We got a nice little belt going. Awesome. 
And so you see how adding that um, thickness, adding that thickness gives our materials or the models of our materials a little more like weight, right? It, it differentiates between what is a, like what is the clothing, what is like cloth and what is like a leather vest, right? So that's always useful. That was always a useful tool for me. And it comes in very handy when you're making armor. So in the future, when we're making guards or something like that, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be thanking you're gonna be thanking um, what do you call it? You're gonna be thanking the bevel tool for making hard armor or armor look. Trust me. Anyway, let's put this back here. Okay, great. So we got a nice little belt on our character. Uh, it is a little scaled weird. So let's bring it in. So it's not overlapping at least with the outside polygon. Let's go face, select this, this, pull this out. There we go. Great, 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 great. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we got a nice belt for our guy. Uh, what else do we need? What else, what else do you think is useful for our character here? Mm, we probably need to put like a like an actual buckle, that might be helpful. Yeah, let's make a buckle, screw it. So we'll go space, create, poly primitives. Let's go cube. Um, and then let's squish this in like that, squish this in like this, that, like this. Okay, great. Let's position it right where we want the buckle to be. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's looking not bad. Not 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 too shabby. Yeah, I can I can live with that. Maybe a tiny bit thinner. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Edge. Uh, let's select this edge. Make a loop. Space. Oh, right, you know what? Let's keep that loop for sake of symmetry. So we'll go here. This time I'll turn off symmetry because I only need an edge loop right here. So we'll go this, and then we'll turn symmetry back on. And then we'll go face, control E, extrude up. Go like this, and then we'll control edge. Let's make an edge loop, and then edit the edge. Mesh tools, slide, slide edge. Let's bring it up to about, that looks about the same, right? Yeah, okay, cool. We'll go face here, control E, extrude out. Amazing, wonderful. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, sweet. So now, um, you know what? Let's bevel, let's bevel. Let's bevel this, 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 and this. And then let's turn off, let's turn on wire so that we make sure we're selecting the right thing. Smooth shading, and then we'll go space, edit mesh bevel. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's looking good. Nice. Okay, we got a nice little uh, belt. We got a little belt buckle for our character. And then we'll bring it in. Probably do this. I actually want to make sure I select all the right things here in this case and pull this out nicely. Amazing. Okay. Project. And you know, actually, we might stand. We could we could stand to lose a little bit of thickness. Not thickness, but width around that belt right there. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. And you know, actually, it's gonna bother me a little bit, so what I'll do is we'll leave that and we'll create another poly primitive. We'll create poly primitive cube. Let's bring it out here so that I know what I'm looking at. Scale this in like this, like that, and like this. 
basically I'm making the like the belt hole um, uh, like stick or the thing that goes through the belt hole belt hole uh, and just so that it looks like an actual proper belt okay let's position that right there and then maybe I'll rotate it a tiny bit so that it's kind of in line with how the thing looks okay amazing okay great that's looking okay and then we'll go edge we'll just select these four edges space edit mesh bevel okay nice awesome awesome okay great that's looking pretty good so far i think we're in a decent shape right now um yeah yeah we're in good shape so far i think for now actually i will uh I will stop the video for now because it's getting a little bit long. Um, when I come back, we'll add more details like boots, maybe some gloves, uh, and hair details. Uh, yeah, we'll just continue adding. We'll just continue adding um, clothing to our character model. But I think it's coming along nicely so far. So yeah, stick with me, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.